What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. For today's video, I am doing a Zara spring haul. I haven't done a Zara clothing haul on my channel since before Christmas, which is absolutely crazy. I did just do a Zara home video, so if you haven't seen that one, definitely check it out. I am obsessed with Zara home at the moment, but I went shopping for spring. It's finally starting to get warmer here in Montreal. I also have some stuff from Aritzia and a few pairs of shoes I want to also show you guys. Zara's new spring collection is really good. I have to say there's a lot of color in it, a lot of like pinks and purples and chartreuse. You guys know I like sticking to my neutrals. I did pick up like one colorful thing. If you want me to do a video on the fashion trends for the spring and summer, let me know. You can definitely see a lot of them at Zara at the moment. Okay, so the first two pieces I picked up are actually the two pieces I'm wearing that you can see on me right now. The first is this bodysuit. It's in this silky material. It's kind of like a I was like, grope myself. It's kind of like a champagne-y, rose gold, pink kind of color with lace trim. I love these thicker straps. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with Zara's bodysuit. All of the ones that I've gotten have broken. If this one breaks, I'm done with Zara bodysuits because while they're very beautiful, if they keep just breaking, it's just not worth it for me. So this is a bodysuit. You guys obviously already saw it on. I just have it paired with a pair of blue jeans and some heels. I love how the tone of the bodysuit pairs with denim and then this is also a new piece from their spring collection it is a linen button-up I love button-ups just thrown on like this with a pair of jeans of course I'm gonna show you guys and this linen button-up thrown on top is a perfect spring outfit for dinner, for brunch, for Easter, whatever you're doing, it's perfect. So this is that same outfit as before, just with this over shirt on top. The colors pair so nicely together and I love how the linen looks with this silky material. It would also be so cute just with a regular t-shirt or a tank top underneath. Another way I styled this over shirt is with this Melina leather skirt from Aritzia. I am absolutely obsessed with it. You guys know how popular and how amazing and how much I love the Melina pants. So when I found out they had a skirt, you know I needed to get it. I recommend sizing up in the skirt. I got my true size two in the black and it's just too small. This is in a size four and I will leave a link down below. The color is so pretty, but I just have the shirt kind of half tucked in. You can also do this look with leather pants. Now that I think about it, I don't have a pair of leather pants in this color. And then for my boots, these, I have no idea where they're from. And this is it tied in the front. I definitely preferred it tucked in. I really love a linen button up over kind of like a dress shirt material button up because I find it's way more versatile. You can dress it up or dress it down the material makes it perfect for day or night I also picked up the linen shirt in black I bought a black button-up in a dress shirt material and I found it very hard to style the linen material kind of casualizes it a little bit more and makes it a little bit easier to style I paired it with this little romper bodysuit biker short thing from Aritzia that I got last year hopefully they still have it because I am obsessed with it it's the easiest outfit to just throw on but I also always wear it with an over shirt because if not I just feel very exposed and then I wanted to play up some warmer tones so I threw on the nano speedy and some brown shoes you could also throw on a pair of sneakers and then these sunglasses are all black sunglasses from Amazon amazing sunglasses they were like $12 you can't beat them so that is the full look and it's so comfortable so good for spring I feel the best in all black the next big thing I saw is cropped blazers. I saw them everywhere, all over Zara. I see them all over Instagram. I like the idea of a cropped blazer. I do, I think it's flattering, but I don't like the idea of this crop blazer because these shoulder pads are just out of this world. They're so big, but I love the color of it. Maybe I just needed like a size smaller but you can kind of get the idea of the cropped blazer i just don't think that this one is necessarily the one for me 
Zara has some of my favorite denim, but I find it's truly just so hit or miss. You know, there are different sections in the store, have different sizing. Sometimes a 36 fits me, sometimes a 36 is so big on me, sometimes I can't even squeeze one leg into a size 36. Even if it's the same style of jeans in different colors, they can fit so differently, it's so bizarre. These are the straight fit, super high rise, straight leg cropped comfort jeans. I got a size 34, but I'm normally a size 30. I just loved how they feel. They feel like they're gonna be very comfortable and I've been loving a little bit of a darker wash. I also love for the spring and summertime, this straight cut at the bottom where it's just like super straight with a pair of mules. I think it is such a cute look. This paired with a bodysuit, this paired with the cropped blazer. One thing I'm very passionate about is jeans. So let me know if you wanna see a jeans video from me in the future. Okay, so these are the jeans, and I have to say I'm obsessed with them. They fit like a glove. This is what I mean by some jeans I don't even go up past my butt, but these are size 34 and they fit perfectly. The material is super, super stretchy. So I paired it with a bag from Charles and Keith. And then this is a little sweater vest from Aritzia that I got in the fall that I haven't actually worn a ton. With this shade of denim, I prefer to wear it with black. I just love the contrast between the more saturated blue and black and then I have it paired with some black strappy heels that you're gonna see a little bit later in the video. Another pair of jeans that I picked up are these, which I don't have anything like it in my collection. And these I was kind of testing out, okay? I love the look of wide jeans, but not on me because I'm five foot one and I just look like a Christmas tree. I've never found a pair of wide jeans that I'm just so obsessed with, but I did love the color of these. This is my first pair of culottes that I've owned, but I love the color of them. And I think for like, look how wide. Look how wide those are. I was feeling very daring, but I loved the color of them and I think for the springtime, it could be such a look. Okay, so this is how the wide leg pants fit. I have to say, I like them a lot more than I thought I was going to. They're also very comfortable. I love the color because they're like a white cream. I find them a lot more wearable than a stark white. The waist is a little bit tight, but I can tell it's going to stretch out. And then I just threw it on with a pair of nude heels that you're going to see a little bit later in the video. So these are the pants with some sandals and a little tank top. I like them when I'm in motion or when my legs are moving, but when I'm just standing there, I feel like they're a little bizarre looking. I'm doing something weird in my crotch area. I like them. I'm not obsessed with them. I'm not gonna return them, but they're not like my favorite pants, although they are very comfortable. Okay, I'm conflicted. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section about these pants. They're a good length. The next thing I picked up is this little romper. So it's in this beautiful white. Like, what is this? It's too big, first of all. I feel kind of like a, this is like a clown's uniform. This is how it fits. So it's gonna be a no for me. I'm gonna return this but it does have potential. I think maybe I just needed a smaller size. There are so many fun dresses for the springtime, a lot of florals, a lot of different colors. There is a dress that's going viral on TikTok right now. I was this close to buying, but I knew I just was, like I was never going to wear it. So I picked this one up. I think I'm gonna wear it to Easter. It is in like this yellow color with purpley pink flowers. A little bit weird for me because my least favorite color is purple, but I was drawn to this. I think I like the combination of yellow and purple. They have so many different beautiful floral dresses for the springtime. What I liked about this is that it was so flattering. It was kind of like a midi length. It has a little bit of a slit, but it is so flattering on. I absolutely adore the fit of this dress. I wish they made it in black. You know, I'm gonna check and see what other colors they have because it just fits and sits on your body so nicely. The print is really nice. I love the combination of yellow and purple and it's just so nice and summery. I paired it with some white mules, but you could also pair it with a cute pair of sneakers for a more casual look. Here's an up close view of it. Very pretty and so soft and very comfortable. I love the material of it. 
The next thing I picked up I am obsessed with. I can't wait to go somewhere warm or like a beach so I can wear it. I was seeing these all over Revolve for a crazy amount of money. And then I saw this one at Zara and it's like a crochet kind of beach cover up. I pictured wearing this just over my bikini with a cute pair of slides, my beach bag, maybe a hat. It's obviously see through so I'm not going to be wearing this like out, out on the town. But to the beach it's beautiful, it's thick and it's not like skin tight, which I appreciate. Okay, so this is the little pool bathing suit cover up. It just sits on your body so nicely. It's a nice thick material, but because it has like a crochet design, it's very breathable. I love the little scalloped detail at the bottom and I feel like this neckline is very flattering. I just have a little bikini on underneath. And now I think I need to plan a beach vacation so I can have somewhere to wear this. Oh, and I just threw it on with some brown sandals. One of my favorite things from Zara are these little racer knit tank tops. I just love them. I wear them all the time. I have them in green, brown, black. This is my third black one. I just love the high neck with some jewelry on top. It's my absolute favorite tank top from Zara. And they always come out with new colors. Like I said, I have brown, I have green, and they just came out with this beautiful, delicious brown one even with like the cream culottes that i just got similarly i saw this which is like a long sleeve version i got this really pretty green color i just got a size small in them okay so for this top i paired it with my favorite pants in the whole world the utility pants from aritzia they're my tried and true i love them in this nude bone kind of color and then also i have them in black and they're just the best the best investment ever but this top is such a good basic i'm definitely going to be ordering it in every single color they have because it fits perfectly so much more expensive and it makes you look so much more put together than just a simple plain long sleeve shirt it goes to around this length so perfect to wear with high-waisted pants i just paired it with a little fendi baguette and then these shoes are from steve madden they are my favorite 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 shoes for the summertime because they're so comfortable and they go with absolutely everything Okay, and then the last thing I got from Zara are these shoes. One thing Zara does so right, well, Zara does a lot of things right, but I love their heels. I love their shoes, their sneakers, their mules. They just have really great affordable shoes. So I picked up these sandals. They just look really good on your foot. And because there's so many little straps, they're so comfortable and easy to walk in. The heel's a little bit thicker. So I wanted just a pair of good black trousers that you can wear with sneakers, that you can wear dressed up with a pair of mules. So I picked up these pants. I love them because they really cinch in your waist and even more, you can add a little belt, but they just fit so well. I did size down to a size zero. I'm not a size zero, but in these pants, the size zero fit the best. This is probably like my go-to outfit at nighttime, some variation of this, but I love these dress pants because they just fit perfectly and they're so flattering. The waist being a little bit of a thicker band and cinching you in at your smallest part is just so flattering. They actually come with a little hem fold at the bottom that I just undid and I threw it on with a pair of these Princess Polly Chunky Prada Dupe shoes and then this is the tank top from earlier in the haul i don't think they sell it anymore but it's a dupe the mini little kelly bag you guys have seen this tank top many times but i wanted to talk about it it's from sunday i love the color and the details on the front okay so this is a little bit more of a fall vibe so we're here to talk about the top but this skirt i just remembered is also new it's the melina skirt from aritzia I have this top tucked in to the skirt it kind of has like a corset vibe very very flattering and then i have these boots from lane tail val of course they're so comfortable and they're just like knee high giving me 70s vibes boots and then this jacket is from miss lola old from miss lola and then i also picked up 
this tank top in this beautiful blue color. I'm just obsessed. I was just picturing like a whole blue outfit. For this outfit, I have the blue tank top on, which is so cute even without the sweater on top tucked in. But I did throw on a cream sweater just over my shoulders. And then to tie in the cream, I threw on my favorite Chloe little slides, which are perfect for the spring because they still have shirling, so they look all nice and cozy, but they're a sandal. So if it's warm out, you can still wear them. It's super simple. Sometimes the simplest outfits are the best ones. Okay, and lastly from Aritzia, I think I may have found my new favorite pair of jeans ever. They are from the brand Denim Forum. I have one other pair of jeans from Denim Forum, but these are just, I don't know. They just fit so nice. The Joni High Rise Loose. 29 length I got a size 24 so I did size down in these because my normal size is a tw size 25 but they are just like a straight leg I need to seam them I just washed them a straight leg pair of jeans what I love about them is the wash and they are so comfortable they are a little bit more of an expensive pair of jeans but they're not as expensive as a Goldie but when I tell you the quality the fit Everything is like basically exactly the same. I think this is Aritzia's own line of denim. It's exactly the same. Like I just am obsessed with how these jeans fit, but be careful, they do stretch out a ton when you wear them. I picked the pair that has no slits in them. You guys know I always say this, I prefer to buy jeans without rips in them, um, especially if I'm splurging on them because you can wear them to many different occasions. You can dress them up or you can make them casual. These are the jeans. I just love how they fit. I find them so flattering and the color is perfect they're not too light but they have some dimension to them this is what the back looks like i just have them paired with some white mules my little gucci horse bag and a tank top okay and then i went to l'interval and i bought four pairs of shoes i think l'interval is i think it's a montreal based brand i could be wrong don't quote me on that their shoes feel and look super luxurious but they are I don't wanna say they're affordable because they're still like over $100, but way more affordable than like designer shoes. But I'm telling you the quality, the fit, everything feels designer. What got me into the store, what really attracted me to the shoes were these mules right here. So I love a good mule in the spring and summertime. I find it super flattering. You can wear them with dresses, you can wear them with jeans. But what was so flattering about these was the heel. So it has a triangle heel. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, it's a triangle. Um, and it has a square toe. So it's giving you that like Bottega vibe. The thing I don't like about Bottega is that it's so wide and chunky, it makes your foot look this wide. So I definitely prefer these. They're super flattering on your foot, but I did have to size down a full size. You're gonna be seeing me wear these a ton. I went with white just because I didn't have a really good pair of white mules. These are the shoes. You can see that they look so nice with a pair of jeans. And then you already know I had to also get them in black. The leather is very soft, so they're very comfortable to wear. I prefer leather like this than a, like a patent leather, especially for mules because they're more versatile. I'm all about buying versatile pieces and then also I find them a little bit more casual. These are a little bit less interesting but I just got them to throw on with like all black outfits or a pair of jeans. They're super comfortable. I love that they have a chunky platform because that is still very much in. It's not too chunky where it kind of looks like, whoa, you know? It's good for every day, it's not too much. Still do get that chunky look and like I said, they are so comfortable. I have a pair of Christian Louboutin nude heels which I wear all the time but they are like absolutely destroyed because I wore them so much originally I was like do I want to order another pair of Christian Louboutin heels not really I don't want to spend that price but then I went on to Lane Val's website and I saw that they have my favorite pair of heels in a nude color so I have these in two other colors black and green I find designer shoes the one big difference in them is the arch and the shape of the heel it is a very high heel I can walk in them like perfectly fine but I'm not saying they are the most comfortable but these heels for the price look like they 
or a designer heel. That is it for my Zara Aritzia and shoe haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As usual, everything will be linked down below. I will also list all of the sizes that I got all these pieces in because I know I'm the worst at seeing the sizes when I'm filming. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week. I love you and I'll see you